The new Weapons Generation Facility, or WGF, consolidates the weapon maintenance, storage, and training functions required to support the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile and Strategic Bomber missions. The current weapon storage areas were built in the 1960s to 1970s. The new WGF will provide more secure and efficient operations. Malmstrom Air Force Base is the second of four sites in the Air Force to receive one of the most advanced and secure infrastructure systems in the United States. Senator, thank you for being here. Uh, civic leaders, state leaders, community partners, industry partners. So to say today is a big day for America is an understatement. Today is a big day for the state of Montana. Today is a big day for the United States Air Force. Today is a big day for Air Force Global Strike Command. And today is a phenomenal day for Wing One. October of 62, it all started here. When our nation was threatened in the Cuban Missile Crisis, what did the President do? He stood up Wing One. I flew over Alpha Six this morning and saw the first location of the first ICBM that went on alert for our nation. It started here. That's a pretty phenomenal thing to take stock of as we break ground on a groundbreaking day of a weapons generation facility that gives our airmen the tools, the facilities, the safety and security required for our nation's most important mission. It underpins everything our nation does. Absolutely underpins everything on the international arena. It provides our nation's senior leaders the backstop for diplomatic negotiations. And it started right here in Montana. It started right here in Wing One. Thank you, General Boussier. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Colonel Catherine Sanborn. I think it's actually windier up here. <laughs> Senator Tester, General Boussier, it is my honor to be here today to help celebrate this important milestone on behalf of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Northwestern Division Commander, Brigadier General Jeff Van Epps, and the Seattle District. The Corps of Engineers provides engineering solutions for our nation's toughest challenges. As the nation's engineers, one of our missions is to provide worldwide management for military construction programs like the weapons generation facilities. This is vital infrastructure for the 341st Missile Wing and Team Malmstrom, providing modern, up-to-date technology to replace decades-old facilities here. Seattle District understands the importance of the WGF program to the Air Force and is committed to safely delivering a quality project on schedule at budget. Since the mission, for the past year, we've been staffing up a resident office on base. It's been a while since we've had a resident office here, and we're bringing in high on Malmstrom with construction traffic for future construction projects. And we anticipate we will grow our team Malmstrom workforce here in October, and there are more than 70% complete with foundation pier drilling, a great start considering the Montana construction season. They anticipate completing this drilling within the next three weeks, the construction start of a quality facility that will serve Malmstrom Air Force Base and the nation for many decades to come. Thank you again for the opportunity to attend today's ceremony. At least it's not snowing like last weekend. I look forward to continuing to work with the team to deliver this important project for Malmstrom Air Force Base, Global Strike Command, and the United States Air Force. Building strong to aim high.
ladies and gentlemen, the construction for the Sentinel Program Weapons Generation Facility has officially started. Please join us for refreshments following the MH-139 ceremony at Hangar 4.